passed, what we realized was that three years was actually two years and some few months. So we'll make sure that these three years become almost three years. And I think we, the time lost, we have to make it up. That is the first thing that we are we're trying to do now. And then find out, I mean, based on that, uh, 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 we can then use the analysis that they do after that time to, or whatever uh, that the public thinks to know, to decide on whether we move in three years or four years. That is the first thing. Number two, the premise of the whole exercise is that money should not be uh, 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 an obstruction to the education of our children. That is the basic premise from which that we try to do this free SHS. So if that is it, then if it is found out that four years is better than three years in training our children, then money should not be the basis for denying them that four years. So the two issues are one, to find out whether if we give them the enough time within that three year period, they will do better than maybe what they've been doing with uh, a three-year period, which is less than maybe two and a half years. Or if that shows that uh, doesn't support the argument that they are doing, they, they will be they, they will do as well. Then we will, based on whatever the public thinks, go to the four years without thinking about how much it will cost. Because we are actually determined to make sure that. We get them the right education. It is not only access, but it also includes quality. And if it's four years, that will give them quality. And that is what the people want, so be it. So we will, at this point, just uh, wait until maybe after we've tried it for a year or two and see how that will affect the outcome of uh, the, the program. Mm -hmm.